Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video I'm going to do an updated collective baby slash pregnancy haul. A lot of the things I'll show you today, not all, but most of the things I'll show you today are um, ethically produced, made from like recycled materials, or they're gonna be second hand, um, or it's like a small business. And um, yeah, so I really wanted to like promote having a sustainable, as much as you can anyway, sustainable leap into parenthood. So I'm gonna go through some really exciting bits today. Um, itchy back. It's getting harder to reach like points of my back. I need a um, back scratcher. Anyway, so I'm going to show you lots of things today. If you're new by the way, my name is Sophie. Feel free to subscribe. I'm documenting my first pregnancy, my first baby that's due late spring this year. Like really not long to go now. <laughs> um, but I'm excited. So yeah, feel free to subscribe. Like this video if you enjoy it and yeah let's just get straight into it so i'll start with a couple of like pregnancy things so things that i'm using things for me and um, that i wanted to show you today by the way pretty much everything i can i will link down below so if you see anything you like the link will be down below but yeah let's start with something pregnancy related so i bought these maternity pjs how cute are these from New Look. Now these are actually made from organic cotton, which is fabulous. Um, avocado, pregnancy or maternity PJs. I just flipping love them. They're so perfect for like the new springy summer type weather that's coming because they're light. I love like white and gray um, PJs. They're just very like refreshing, especially if you, I mean, not that I do, as you can see, but if you have like a little bit of a sun kissed skin, it just looks really good. Trousers in particular are really comfy because they go so far up and there's still like quite a bit of room. My bump, um, I will do a bump update at the end of this video, um, but my bump's very forward. It's very like nowhere else, but like straight out. So when wearing clothes, it's like really prominent. So the trousers are really comfortable. The one thing I would say, I bought these in a size small. They fit perfectly now. I think the trousers will get me to the end of pregnancy. The top is a little snug around the belly area. So I would have gone from medium, so maybe size up if you do want to get these. It's cute, isn't it? Really cute. So I really recommend those actually, because I have bought a couple of other pairs of PJs throughout pregnancy. None have been quite as comfortable as that. They're so soft and good for the warm, even though we're having cold weather, for the warm temperatures that I'm already feeling. <laughs> I have to f sleep in a freezing cold bedroom. And do you know what, Lawrence is used to it now anyway. We both like the freezing cold bedroom. Another pregnancy thing is um, products from My Expert Midwife. I was actually sent these very kindly. These are really natural ingredients. I really like how like back to basics they are. The only thing I've used so far is the Keep Your Cool Mist. So the Keep Your Cool Mist is um, essentially like a really nice eucalyptus type oily spray that you can spray on your face. It doesn't make you greasy or anything. It just, oh, it feels really nice, but it smells like an actual spa. Like it smells like a really, really nice spa. So I really like this company. I have the Keep Your Cool Spray, which I've tried and really, really recommend. We've got spritz for your bits. This is gonna be for when the baby's here. <laughs> um, instant relief, apparently, for down there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start using this tonight, actually, after my bath. A um, elastic skin soothing hydrating. So I'll put this on my stomach. I haven't got any stretch marks as of yet, but who knows? I know oiling up doesn't get rid of stretch marks, they're mainly genetic, but my skin is itchy <laughs> and tight. So I do need to keep it hydrated because that makes it feel a lot better. No harm bum balm. This is gonna be for the baby. So I think the red label stuff is for the mum and the green label stuff is for the baby. Um, so no harm bum balm. Um, and it's just, is what it is. Balm for the butt. And we've also got, oh, peri prep your bits. Softening moisturizing, what is this? Peri prep your bits. I think I know what it is. We won't go into detail. I've also got No Harm Nipple Balm. Um, I'm just gonna see when you use that because my nipples are itchy, but they don't hurt. So I don't know if you use that. It also comes in a little bag. 
Um, but it's it's a really nice company with like good ethics. Um, I read behind the company a little bit and it was set up by two ladies, two friends. Um, so I like the ethics of the company and I like how natural the products are. Okay, the next thing is probably the most exciting item so far I've got. Like, I flipping love it. Can't use it yet because the baby's not here, but it is for me and, well, for me and Lawrence and it's our nappy changing bag. Oh my gosh, like who would have thought it would be so exciting to choose a nappy changing bag. I'm so excited about this. So this is, very kindly was sent to me. This is from Baby Mel. So I found Baby Mel when I was kind of Googling online like ethical nappy changing bags or like eco-friendly organic type things. And I came across this, which is Georgie range. And from this brand, the Georgie range, um, this bag essentially is fully made out of recycled plastic bottles. So it's so ethical, eco-friendly, which is incredible. It also looks just gorgeous. Look like how mumsy it looks. I am a stripe person. I just love stripes, especially navy and white stripes. Um, I'm always wearing stripes, apart from today, because, you know, running out of clothes are actually sort of fit. It's, it's a relatively biggish bag I would say. I don't know. I've seen bigger bags. It's quite crisp right now. I need to like soften it up because it's quite like you know when you get a new bag and it's just a bit hard and in shape. <laughs> so I need to soften it up a bit but I'll kind of really quickly go through this. I think when I do like a, a hospital bag or new mum type bag um, I'll go through this again and actually show you properly what's going to be in it. I've just stuffed some things in here for now just to like wait it out. Um, but yeah, so first of all, I'll show you the outside. So it comes with a changing mat, which is great. So this is like a lovely neutral tone changing mat and it's got polka dots and love hearts on it. So it comes with this, which I think is really good. And that fits nicely in the front pocket. Obviously that's a wipe clean changing mat. Buttons are magnet as well. At the side, I really like this pocket. So at the side you have a wipes pocket and you can put wipes in there and in their bag, take off the top. And then every time you're changing your baby out and about, you can lift this up and actually there's a little slip here where you just pull the wipes out. So this takes, you don't have to take the wipes out of this pocket. You just pull this up and pull a wipe out, pull a wipe out. That's really good. It's really stretchy as well. I tried putting a, oh, I putting um, one of the Mamiya, bags of wipes here now these are quite big these are from Aldi they're the water wipes um it's a really big packet it's quite wide it's very much a squeeze it does fit in there but it's very much a squeeze um so if you do buy these wipes I don't know there might be wipes that are a bit narrower so I do know they fit and probably whatever wipes you do use will fit We've got another side pocket here, which might be useful for, I don't know, you could put your own water bottle in there or some snacks for the kids, da da da. Just outside, all the straps are obviously adjustable. And you have these little straps here, just little ones here, which are for the pram. So you can put them, this whole bag over a pram on the handles. And then going inside, I've just kind of stuffed stuff in here for now, but we have, it's got two pockets at the front, these are stretchy elastic pockets. So I put nappies in one and I suppose you can put a bottle in something else. It's also got a pocket right at the side of the bag here, which I think is perfect for a bottle shape. Um, and then it's really obviously very big inside. Loads and loads could fit in there, like it's big. And then it's got another slip at the back, which I suppose you might be able to put your um, phone in or maybe like an iPad, if you let your kids watch an iPad, or just something. So it's gonna be a really good bag to take me through not only newborn and baby stages, but pretty much parenthood, you know? Like, all of it, because um, obviously I don't plan to get new things all the time. I want this to last, um, because it's ethical and better that way for the environment. But yeah, it's a fantastic bag and I just flipping love it. They actually have loads and loads of different patterns, colors. They have like really nice faux leather ones. So I'll link them down below. Check them out for yourself if you are on the hunt for a good nappy bag. Have a look at them if you do want to. I like their ethics. They're also really great people. Um, I was chatting with them on Instagram and yeah, they're good people. So that is oh oh wow oh yeah you can wear it on your shoulder as well see 
blooming and versatile. Okay, now Aldi. Aldi do some great bits and a lot of their baby things are actually um, ethical, made out of organic cotton, which I think is fantastic. Lawrence purchased these the other day when he was out shopping. So these are, oh, how cute. How cute are they? They're not to three month um, little baby vests and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Look how small that is, seriously. I do find that all shops differ dramatically in size. Like this is not to three, but it looks more like a newborn where I've bought um, newborn stuff from Asda. So things are really differing in size, but it's all organic cotton. I've bought quite a few clothing bits from Aldi in the organic cotton range. And I'm really happy because my sister-in-law has actually bought these and lots of other organic baby grows from Aldi in the sizes above. And her new baby grows out of that, um, the clothes will be coming to us. So again, secondhand organic. I just, look at the pattern on that one. It's got rainbows and bees and caterpillar and trees and ladybirds flowers, sun, so cute. Obviously I'm a massive fan of bees. So this one, a little bee bzz, on the front. I just think that's so cute, a little white one. And then there's just, it's a plain orange one. Oh, look how cute that is. So these are, yeah, from the Lily and Dan range, they're organic. At the moment, Aldi is currently selling these. So if you did want them, head on online. I think they were $3.99, but I think Aldi's doing really well in terms of the baby game. They do have a baby event on at the moment. We did get a couple of bits actually. I will show you actually what we got. These are gorgeous, nice organic cotton clothing. Just quickly, one of the other things we did buy in the Aldi, why does that sound broken? In the Aldi baby event is the adjustable backseat mirror um, from Dream Baby. So obviously this is gonna go um, opposite the baby when it's in its car seat in the car now this was I think it was $6.99 from Audi now I saw these in boots for like £20 so I think that's an incredible saving I'm gonna have a quick look so obviously it looks all dusty and horrible now gosh you can see that it's gonna have this we'll take this plastic bit off and it yeah that's much clearer oh yeah adjustable so you can stick it to the back seat of the car or the headrest of the car and then you can move the mirror around to suit how you need to look in the car look at that wow cool yeah i thought for only seven pound or eight pounds it was no more than eight pound it's a good price isn't it it's a really good price and it's a good little item it's a necessity type item as well so i thought i'd show you that as well because we just bought that from aldi These things i'm going to show you are generally like second hand things i will include some of the brands and i'll link stuff below of my favorite types of brands but um, I just think with secondhand things, I do think it's really important to include like secondhand type things. From my knowledge, babies grow out of things really quickly. So the stuff you can get for secondhand are never far from very good condition. Um, so I'm a massive advocate. I'm gonna have loads and loads of secondhand things um, clothing wise especially from my sister-in-law who's recently had two children so I'm really lucky in that respect <clears throat> my sister gave me this entire well gave me two boxes of um, reusable nappies and cloth nappies should I say um, these look incredible so she cloth nappied her second child her daughter her youngest child and um, found it really easy found it went really really well so I'm gonna give it a go you also and you guys have given me loads of great tips on like Facebook groups and YouTube videos to watch um, whilst that's going on that's just a homemade jumper that was my nephew's but it's now gonna be this little baby's look at these patterns I think they're so cute this one is extra cute it's like tractors and cows it's just so lovely oh look at that just look how cute that is, so small. And um, so we've got tons and like, I really won't need to buy any more. Um, so that's essentially, and I'm so lucky because all nappies generally, like the throwaway ones and these reusable cloth ones aren't cheap at all. Like I know the reusable cloth ones in the long run, you're going to save money. Um, but to buy them, they're really expensive. Like they, from Aldi alone, they were eight pound each. 
and then from other companies which i will link down below like really gorgeous companies they're kind of around the same price but in the long run it does save you money and obviously it's much better for the planet to be using cloth nappies than throw away nappies obviously they have been um all washed but i'm gonna wash them all again because they've just been sitting in my sister's loft for a couple of years and including the liners so if you do want to know a bit more about like cloth nappies and how my journey's going and um, when the baby's here with that let me know because i I'm happy to film it. Obviously, um, I've never done it before, so I've just, all I can do is kind of teach myself online on YouTube before the baby's here and Lawrence and I can just give it a go and see how it goes. But I'm quietly confident about it. What I have done though, is been a bit realistic and I've bought um, some newborn disposable nappies. So we have a few packs of these, I think three packs, four packs maybe, five packs. Um, of these just to get us through the first newborn stage and then when we've like maybe had a couple of hours sleep at some point <laughs> we can move on properly to our cloth nappies but I was just being realistic and got these as well because you know who knows just to go with that another ethical brand is Nimble so um, I've heard really good things about Nimble they very kindly sent me this stuff and um, this is a eco-friendly plant-based cleaning product company and it looks fantastic now they actually have in their pack their new mum pack i think it's called they have um cloth nappy detergent so you only use detergent when washing cloth nappies so i'm going to be using this yeah this company looks great products i can use for all of the baby stuff so i know i'm not like putting toxins near my baby and um so we've got milk buster this is to clean out bottles if you are bottle feeding. I'm gonna try and do um, solely breastfeeding but pump into bottles as well so Lawrence can do some feeding because he really wants to and I think it would be really helpful for me. So we've got baby bottle cleaner. We have sticky stopper antibacterial cleaner so when the baby's kind of sitting in um, high chairs or even just like the things I put the baby in or on it'll be good to spray it with this. Uh, baby clothes laundry detergent, cloth nappy detergent and baby fabric softener. All the stuff is plant-based and it's good for the baby's skin, no toxins, no parabens and things like that. So um, if you want to do the same, I'll link their website down below, Nimble. From a small business, this, you may have seen this on my Instagram and a YouTube video, so I won't go on about it, but it's from the brand Hoops and Daisies. So she sent me this and because it's so beautiful um, and she sent it to me, I decided to buy one back from her and gift it to one of you guys. So we ran a giveaway and um, a lovely girl won the giveaway obviously. So when a small business sends you something, it's so special. Like they take so much time um, to get these things done and so much talent, it's not factory produced and they rely on that money. So yeah, I just thought it's absolutely gorgeous. This is an embroidered scan of our baby which is so exciting um she can do any color variations you want so she can do black and white just like a scan she also can put names down here we haven't decided on a name because we don't know the gender yet <laughs> but she did it in my favorite colors which is white um, and teal teal is like my favorite color and um, teal is like a lovely oceany blue i just think it's really nice all i had to do was send her a picture of my scan one of my scan photos and she got embroidering. She literally done this by hand and by vision. I just think it's incredible. Also, one of um, our favorite things I think so far for the baby, honestly, I just love this so much, is this gorgeous little bear. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this is. Um, so this is actually from Prezi Box. And um, Prezi Box is a great website. I've actually worked with them before and I've shopped with them before. You guys have shopped with them before. They sell lots of different items. So it's great for like going on and finding little things to gift people for their birthday, like unique things, or even for around, around your home. This is from a brand that's based in Denmark and it's called Fab Fab Lab. Fab Lab? I'll link it all down below anyway. It's completely organic, made with sustainable organic cotton and it's just a really nice little teddy bear. I love the colour, the colour's like olive. I asked you on Instagram what I should call him or her. A lot of people came back with the name Wilbur and I just loved the name Wilbur. So it's gonna be Wilbur and hopefully the baby will be able, be able to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, soon this will be in the baby's hands. Like the baby will have this in their hands and I can't believe it. <laughs> Our friends from Holland We've got some, Lawrence and I have some friends in Holland which we're hoping to see this year at some point. Just knitted 
the baby a gorgeous little hat in coral colour because we love coral and um, with like a little white rim on it and some little baby knitted baby boots. I just can't get over these. I just think they're absolutely divine. They're just so cute. So I really, you know, I really cannot wait to put this on the baby. I hope the baby's head is um, not as big as mine because <laughs> um, this hat is absolutely tiny. It's absolutely gorgeous. I flipping love it. Also, there's a little hand knitted cardigan. This was knitted by my nan for me and my sister. So I've actually worn this as a tiny newborn baby. Um, it's this gorgeous white knitted cardigan, little white buttons down the front. I'm just thinking um, it's so small, but the baby will look so cute in this and then a onesie of some sort, a little coral hat and boots. So as promised, we'll do a bump update. Let's have a look. Ugh. Terrible stomach acid as usual. This is the bump at nearly 32 weeks so I don't know guys what you're thinking is it giving it away what gender it is also do you think I'm going to reach full term like 40 weeks or do you think I'll come a little bit before um who knows I feel like it's quite out <laughs> but I get so much movement now the baby apparently is in the correct position so it's on the left head down at the moment I do also have quite a few bigger things more more like furniture type things for the baby which I think I'll put in another video just because this video is going on and on just quite a bit and I don't want it to like be on be too long furniture and stuff I'll do it in another updated baby haul in a couple of weeks time or something I really hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget all the links are down below obviously if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below I hope you're all doing really really well and I'll see you again really soon for another video bye